You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the achievements of al Saraya after winning a race, race that had a great Yarmouth race course in England. He praised the victory, which he said reflects Bahrain's achievements in international horse race championships, claiming a string of landmark successes. He said that the victory has carved the name of the kingdom in the championship. His Highness said that the victory represents a major boost to continue making more achievements in upcoming races and honor Bahrain in global sporting events. He praised the efforts of jockey William Buick and his trainer Christopher. The triumphant horse was named after the Ramadan quiz show which was aired on Bahrain television last Ramadan. The first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his delight for the Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting to the Combat Kingdom event, which is organized by the Brief in cooperation with the Bahrain for Mixed Martial Arts Federation. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his happiness in organizing the event, which witnesses the return of the World Championship on the land of Bahrain in light of the Corona COVID-19 pandemic. His Highness confirmed that the Brave Championship returns to its hometown specifically in September of this year coinciding with the fourth anniversary of the launch of the championship in 2016. His Highness indicated that these efforts come in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to promote sports in the kingdom while continuing to work to support its position at the international sports map. His Highness appreciated the follow-up and support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for combat games, especially mixed martial arts sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad said that Brave Championship is a major part of the vision of His Majesty and His Highness has drawn for the Bahraini Mixed Martial Arts Sports since 2015 in order to reach the international events, explaining His Highness that it has achieved wide success at the amateur level in the classification approved by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation. His Highness praised the distinguished efforts made by the Bahrain Fighting Games Council headed by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in order to continue to work on developing and upgrading combat games under the umbrella of the council, including the sports of mixed martial arts. His Highness express appreciation for the great cooperation between Brief and the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation for the ideal preparation for the holding of the Combat Kingdom event. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzia Zainal, chaired a joint government parliament meeting yesterday, which was attended by the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The meeting was held to discuss the details of the peace declaration with Israel. Zainal praised the cooperation of the government and affirmed that the peace declaration is Bahrain's sovereign right and that it serves its national security under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. For his part, the head of the Shura Council said that the peace declaration represents a historic moment that His Majesty has undertaken to achieve peace in the Middle East for the benefit of the development of its people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, affirmed that His Majesty's vision is based on a deep-seated belief in peace and coexistence between people and countries, and that His Majesty is keen on spreading peace, stability and prosperity across the world, and that he believes in peace as a strategic choice to reach the two-state solution for the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. He added that His Majesty is among the key promoters of tolerance and coexistence among nations, people and religions, based on which His Majesty established the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and that coexistence and good neighborliness are among the founding principles of Bahrain's foreign policy. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met at the ministry with the editors in chief of local newspapers and with the chairwoman of the Bahraini Journalist Association, Ahdiya Ahmed, in the presence of the CEO of the National Communication Center, Yusuf Ali bin Khalil, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Undersecretary for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Minister Zayani affirmed that the vision of His Majesty the King for peace in the Middle East stems from a firm belief in coexistence and tolerance between nations and people, and his desire for peace and stability to prevail the region. He noted that the signing of the 
the peace declaration as a major historic step towards achieving peace in the Middle East. He congratulated His Majesty on his wise vision and courageous decision. He also stated that dialogue and direct relations between the Bahraini and Israeli communities and the advanced economies of both Bahrain and the State of Israel would build up on the positive change in the region and would support its peace and stability. He underscored the international recognition for the Bahraini initiative from the U.S., Europe and Asia. As Ayani noted that the aim of the peace declaration is to showcase to the world the firm belief of the kingdom and the importance of tolerance. He added that the peace declaration is an important step for Bahrain and is not targeted against countries or powers. He emphasized that the kingdom believes in the principle of good neighborliness, non-interference in the internal affairs of foreign countries and the peaceful resolution of conflicts. He quoted His Majesty the King who is hopeful for good neighborly relations with the region's countries, including Iran, based on stability, peace development and prosperity for all. He affirmed that the kingdom will continue to exert efforts to find a just and comprehensive solution for the Palestinian-Israeli conflict to enable the Palestinian people to unleash their full potential. The minister underscored Bahrain's firm belief in peace being a strategic option to end the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in a fair and comprehensive manner in accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative and in a manner that guarantees the rights of the brotherly Palestinian people. For their part, the editors-in-chief of the local newspapers expressed pride in the kingdom's historic achievement, wishing Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. In line with the royal directives, a meeting was held between acting Sudanese Foreign Minister Omar Qamar al-Din Ismail and a Bahraini delegation comprising Royal Humanitarian Foundation Secretary General Mustafa Sayyid, Health Ministry Under Secretary Dr. Walid al mani and Bahrain Shash Affairs in Khartoum, Abdullah Rabi'a Saeed. During the meeting, the Sudanese officials expressed Bahrain's leadership, government and people for providing much-needed assistance. He praised the support of His Majesty the King to Sudan in various circumstances and assistance offered by Bahrain during the floods crisis that hit the African country and caused heavy loss of lives and damages. He also lauded the steadily increasing relations between the two countries in various fields, noting that Sudan will always be grateful to Bahrain for the noble act of providing assistance that will contribute to addressing health and economic issues caused by the floods. Assayed stressed Bahrain's support for the Sudanese people during their ordeal caused by the torrents and floods that swept many states. An implementation of the decision of the coordinating committee headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and within the framework of keenness to take all necessary precautionary measures to limit the spread of coronavirus COVID-19 and to preserve the health and safety of children, young people, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development clarified that the decision to stop the activities of the nurseries licensed by will continue until the 25th of October. It confirmed that the decision was within the framework of the importance of the public interest in preserving the children under the age of four and their families, as well as the educational and administrative staff in the nurseries that fall under their supervision. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development work with the medical team and commissioned by the coordinating committee to develop an integrated guide of strict precautionary measures to be applied upon the return to regularly working nurseries in line with the age of children and the requirements for their protection. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,885 active cases with 643 recoveries and 705 registered new cases along with two deaths. 119 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 576 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The deceased were a 54-year-old Bahraini man and a 47-year-old expat man. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.